Welcome back, guys. We're joined by Ella and Jeff from Fat Fibs. And today we'll be talking about amphibians and reptiles. I thought we were talking about lies, like fibs. No, but fib stands for amphibians. Uh, okay. Cool. Jeff, okay. Ella, thanks for coming in. So what have, you, uh, what have you brought with you? Uh, this guy right here is a bearded dragon. Okay. Uh, they're native to Australia. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, as far as we're concerned, this is what we uh, specialize in. Uh, and what we'll tell uh, all of our customers, these are the puppy dog of the reptile world. And, and then that is a reptile. This is a reptile. Uh, and this guy, he's about a year and five months old. Uh -huh. um, he'll get a little bit bigger, uh, but uh, you know they don't get too big, yeah. or, or too unmanageable. Um, and this is the demeanor of them. Uh, you know, you can... Uh, so nice. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. And earlier we were talking about his color actually changes when he's cold and when he's warm. Yes, yeah, so of all the things we brought with us today, mm -hmm. uh, he's the only one that requires like a heat lamp. Okay. Um, something that would, would uh, help boost his metabolism, get his temperature up. Uh -huh. They do come from a desert um, environment in yeah. the wild. So, uh, but yeah, once this guy's in his element and he's warmed up and to his optimum uh, heat, uh, he's a very, very bright red. So like brighter than the couch or even Maddie's? Close. Sleeves on her shirt. Close. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. What, what yeah. their their natural way of uh, surviving in the wild is when they're when they're cool, uh -huh. they they get dark and try to uh, retain as much heat as they can. So oh, um, really? when they're not in their element, they they are going to be a little bit darker than normal. Cool. But and Ella, what do you have over this here? This is Maloui. She uh -huh. is a giant gecko. Wow. Uh, they are the largest gecko in the world. Uh -huh. They are also the most vocal lizard of any of the species. So they make noise. Yes, they do. What kind of noise? Um, like, what does it sound well, like? Well, there's a couple different noises. There's a whistle. Um, uh -huh. There's one of them that kind of sounds like a scream and a growl. It's quite, with, when they're frightened, they'll okay. kind of, it's, it's well, really scary. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Like the with the bearded dragons, earlier. the bearded yeah. dragons don't make any noise at all. So uh -huh. when we first started getting into these, this was a little frightening. Oh, I'm oh sure. my gosh, you know. <laughs> But, going on. but you yeah, know, yeah. but then they calm down. Um, they are from New Caledonia, which is about 700 miles off of Australia. Wow. Yeah. And they can live about 30 years old. <laughs> and what kind of environment do they usually live in? Uh, primary forest. Okay. Uh, large. They, they mainly depend on tree hollows for their survival. That's where they live. That's where they lay eggs. Okay. Um, and so, so the, the older forests have that in wow. Caledonia. Yeah. And that's I've the never, only place in the world they're found. I've never seen one that Oh, yeah. their hands are very, very neat. And they're so, so soft. They, yeah, well, you can what tell. I love I about them, here. yeah, is that they are so soft. You wouldn't expect a reptile to be so silky oh, soft. Wow, yeah. You guys want to hold them? And it's actually Jeff? almost like a velvet. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff, what are these guys? Uh, these are along the same families okay. as, as the giant geckos that Ella has oh, there. Uh -huh. uh, these guys are crested geckos, and okay. uh, these are uh, very popular in the pet trade. Uh -huh. uh, they're going to have the same velvety type skin as, uh -huh. as what the giant geckos have there, but uh, they aren't going to attain the same size. And I also, um, some of the giant geckos as they get older can have a little more of an aggressive demeanor. Okay. Uh, you don't get that with your crested. This um, one doesn't have a tail. Why is that? That's actually uh, these guys were thought to be extinct until about the mid '90s. Really? And, yeah. Oh um, wow, that's and, cool. And they they washed up on uh, the same uh, remote island as the giant geckos, and they were field collected, and uh, all of the ones that were collected didn't have tails. Well, it wasn't until they had their first successful breedings in captivity, uh -huh. the babies hatched out with tails. And what happens is through the mating process and, and just the, the rugged outdoor life, uh -huh. they will drop their tails as a defense mechanism. Oh, wow. um, so majority wow, of cool. your crested geckos at some point mm -hmm. will end up uh, dropping their tail for one reason or another. Uh -huh. um, and, and that's a uh, quite And do they grow um, back or no? They don't grow back. Okay. Uh, you'll just re regenerate a little bit of a stump And what do these guys eat? Uh, these guys actually, the, the great thing about them is they, uh, there's a commercial uh, uh -huh. gecko diet called Crested huh. Gecko Diet. Really? It's, a, it's a powder That's form. So easy. And you, so you, easy. you mix it with water and, and wow. you can add some other things in there, some yogurt and, and things to, uh, to oh. beef it up and, and make it tastier. But uh, yeah, these guys can be a totally insect awesome. free diet. And you guys have one more and this is an amphibian that you guys brought. Yeah, this is an amphibian. Right here, this one's kind of a big deal. It's a, it's a, a little big bit bigger. deal. Yeah, the, uh, everyone, uh, you took my lid. Um, you wanna take that? You guys ready? Here we go. Okay, there's the blue oh. dragon. All right. All right, this is. <laughs> Look at that. 
Paisley the Pixie. Oh my gosh, what kind of frog is this? Uh, he's a giant African bullfrog. Oh. This is the second largest frog species in the world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a frog this big before? No. Neither have I. Oh my God. And, and really, pound for pound, or you know, size wise, yeah. this is your largest frog in the world. Yeah. It's only surpassed by the Goliath frog. Uh, but that, you, that frog is very slender and really okay. has long legs. But for actual body mass and structure, wow. uh, this is the, the daddy O of them all. Oh my gosh. And what do yeah, these guys eat? Look at this. Well, funny you should ask that. Oh, they brought some food. <laughs> and there's not popcorn in here. Okay. Uh, they are primarily, uh, they will be uh -oh. in captivity. He's you on the run. you <laughs> want them to be uh, insectivorous as they're growing up. Uh -huh. um, now, once they reach an adult size, you can obviously see that this guy's going to take about 100 crickets if, if you need to feed him. Oh, so totally. wow. what you end up doing is you start supplementing their diet with uh, frozen thawed rodents. And uh, we brought one of those with us today. <laughs> oh my uh, god. This is a, a mouse that was <laughs> bred and raised strictly for this purpose. For so feeding. He, he wasn't they have to, hurt. They have to eat. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. he wasn't hurt. They're actually uh, okay. euthanized very humanely. And we're uh, going to try to do this. He, he, might, he might be a little camera shy, but... Okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Get him. Wow. oh my gosh. <laughs> As you can see, they, uh, they've got their own. Maybe he's not a big fan of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so does he smell it or does he see it? Or how does he he don't it? smell it, he sees it, but this... Uh... Look at his colors, he's a little, funny. little ornery today, yeah. Yeah, so he's, uh, I don't think he's liking the lights, jump on but... I know, he's looking right at me. <laughs> He's not going for it. He just wants to get off the couch. I don't think he likes the Friday zone. Oh, I really want to see him eat this. No, maybe? Oh. Well, I guess he's just not feeling very hungry today. But anyway, thank you guys, Jeff, Ella. Thank you so much for coming. Thank this you was for so great. All right. You guys, we, this is awesome. We saw the world's biggest frog.